It's been almost one month since a Marion track coach was put on administrative leave. That coach was accused of making a racially insensitive remark to a black student athlete. News 3's Denise Turner joins us live from Marion, where the school board is meeting to discuss the situation. Hey, Mark and Julie, I'm standing outside the Marion High School where a special board meeting just got underway now tonight. They're expected to discuss a racial issue involving a student and a track coach, an issue that many are looking forward to going away. They are the, the leaders of this city, and it's time for them to step up and get come outside of those shells they're hiding in. And there are students out here that matter that needs them and their support right now. And hiding inside buildings is not going to cut it no more. Community members have been demanding accountability since it all began. Demonstrations have popped up at the Marion schools, the district office, and at the Marion City Council, who met earlier this week. School officials have been updating parents with messages. They even shuttered the high school for several days following a bomb threat that was called in demanding her ouster. The family of the Marion track student at the center has been leading the demonstration but deny any involvement in the threat that forced the high school into virtual learning that ended at the end of April. Now some of the Marion community are looking for resolution. I'm iffy iffy about it. I believe that, you know, it, she needs to be recommended for it. You know, you got to watch what you say in any, any society anymore towards anybody and everybody. Everybody should be equal. That's the way I feel. Uh, it's up to them to figure out what they're wanting to do, but I feel like that she should have worded it in a different way. Also in the agenda, the board will discuss staffing recommendations and an official warning. We'll have those results and reactions tonight on News 3 at 10. Live in Marion, Denise Turner, News 3.